Good morning, everyone. It's my big pleasure to open this event today, uh, whose title is Intermedia Inter Arts, and this is the workshop two of this series. And we focus today on the subject of exchanging Chinese cultures. My name is Lucia Najibi, and I am professor of film in the Department of Film, Theater, and Television in the University of Reading. Um, I perhaps should give you some information of how this event came into being. It's a little bit of a complicated uh, history, but um, uh, I'll try to be as clear as possible as we move on. So the history of this event goes back to the creation of the UK-China Humanities Alliance. Uh, this alliance was, was first launched in 2017 by Tsinghua University in China under the leadership of Professor Haiping Yang. With the aim of boosting cross-cultural interactions between Chinese and British universities with a focus on the humanities, which the, the Chinese uh, government and universities thought that needed some boosting, whereas sciences were very de developed within the academic uh, world and environment there in China, humanities were lagging behind and needed some boosting. Um, so uh, 12 universities uh, got together as the founding members of the alliance. And you can see the founding members listed here, five Chinese institutions, Tsinghua University, Peking University, Fudan University, Wuhan University, Chinese University of Hong Kong. And then um, on the UK side, there were seven institutions, University of Oxford, Cambridge, SOAS, King's College, Reading, which is us, Manchester, and the University of Warwick. Um, the membership has since uh, expanded to include some other universities, uh, so now we are 17. Um, and the, 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 the universities and institutions that joined us later on in the process were the Shanghai International Studies University, Beijing Foreign Studies University, the University of Exeter, which is the current leading university on the UK side and Loughborough University and University College London. The British Council has been supporting the Alliance from the start and in 2018 launched a scheme to support the research activities on the UK side of the Alliance. Thanks to this support, in 2019 we held our first Intermedia InterArts workshop and some of you were present here um, in that first iteration of our workshop. Um, and that one uh, built on the interaction that had been established with the normal University of Hangzhou when myself and our former colleague Tamara Courage participated in the fourth international symposium on intermedial studies held at Hangzhou um, and address the subject of intermediate practice and theory in comparison in 2018. Um, at the helm of that event was uh, Professor Rong O, oh, who um, I believe is attending us today remotely. Hello, Rong O, oh, and uh, I hope you are doing well and um, looking forward for our uh, continuing collaboration in the future. So, uh, Professor Rongo is from Hangzhou, Normal University. And um, then what happened is that we were hoping that the, the workshop held in 2019 would have a follow-up, which is the event we are holding today, in Hangzhou in 2020. But then what happened, the pandemic struck, and we were forced to postpone this uh, workshop two twice until it became clear that it would be impossible to hold the follow-up event in China due to the, the uh, policy of lockdown in China, 
and also the uh, strict quarantine regime that is still being imposed there. So impossible to bring Recording up in progress. <laughs> to bring up uh, process, uh, uh, colleagues there to China. So we decided to hold this event here because we still had some funding for that. Um, and hoping that our colleagues in China can join us online. Uh, and if, because of time difference, they are unable to attend during the, 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 the whole of the event, hopefully they will catch up later uh, with the recording. As you heard, this event is being recorded. So we hope to post the recording of this event in the near future. Uh, in the meantime, however, another auspicious outcome within the Alliance has taken place, which has been our success in applying for funding from the British Council for a cross-institutional project titled Reconnecting Research in China, bringing together the University of Exeter as principal applicant, Reading, Manchester and King's College. Professor Melissa Percival, the, the project leader at Exeter, will be with us remotely at 2 p.m. today to give us some further detail on this venture. So uh, please join us at 2 p.m. just before Ashley's paper. We are going to have a few words from Melissa Percival. Uh, so the event today is a prelude to a more long-lasting reconnection with China, and the plan is that with this new BC funding, we will be able to ho hold our third Intermediate Interarts workshop at Hangzhou University in 2023, conditions permitting, of course. Otherwise, we will have to continue to work at this end and endeavoring to be as inclusive as possible. The Reading participation in this British Council bid wouldn't have been possible without the fantastic work of Mark Player and Xin Xie, who are the organizers of this workshop. My role here is just of a supervisor of the event. Mark Player is a lecturer in film in the Department of Film, Theater, and Television in this university. He recently completed his PhD, which he had, I had the honor of co-supervise, um, which focuses on intermediality and Japanese filmmaking during the punk era. And um, he's planning to publish this monograph, which I'm looking forward to seeing uh, in print. His research has been published in several journals, such as Japan Forum and Punk and Post Punk. And he has contributed chapters to several books, including uh, punk Identities and Punk Utopias and 50 Key Figures in Cyberpunk Culture. There is a chapter by Mark coming out in a book that I am co-editing. Co yes, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to... Uh, yeah, sorry, you can announce because it's in production and will oh, be out later this year. Oh, yeah, and, and the book is called uh, The Moving Form of Film, Historicizing the Medium Through Other Media. And it's coming out with Oxford University Press. Now, Xin Xie, who happens to be the wife of Mark Player, <laughs> is currently finishing her PhD in the department, in this very department here, where she also teaches as an associate lecturer. There is lots of nepotism going on here, as you can notice. Anyway, it's all via merit. <laughs> uh, her research interests include adaptation, film remakes, uh, multiculturalism, and East Asian cinema. Her upcoming co-authored chapter is on Chinese language, pop culture, in film remakes for a forthcoming book for the Edinburgh University Press. Finally, I must thank the unstinting support from the University of Reading and the Department of Film, Theatre, and Television in whose wonderful facilities we are working today. Um, and CFAC, the Center for Film Aesthetics and Cultures, who helped us publicize the event down their networks. Um, thanks also to our technical team, led by Chris Bacon, uh, and also our student helpers, Lucy Chapman, 
who you may have met downstairs, and Tommy Lamb behind the camera. So, um, I wish you a good workshop today, uh, and let's get started. Yeah, hello, yeah, I'm, uh, thank you, Lucia, for that uh, lovely introduction. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm Mark. Uh, I'm actually one of the organisers of today's event, along with, along with Shin, who you'll be seeing and hearing from throughout the day as well. So on behalf of both Shin and myself, uh, I'd like to welcome you, both uh, those who have attended in person and the many people who have uh, joined us online, to Intermediate Inter Arts Workshop 2, Exchanging Chinese Cultures a one-day workshop that brings together academics and artists to explore cross-cultural and interdisciplinary exchanges between Chinese film, theatre and literature. As you may have gleaned from the title, and I think Lucia kind of alluded this, uh, to this as well in, in, in her introduction, uh, this workshop is a sequel of sorts, uh, building upon a previous workshop called China and the UK in Focus, which took place here in 2019 and was organised by our friend and former colleague, Dr. Tamara Courage. The first workshop brought together academics from mainland China, Hong Kong and the UK to discuss issues of intermediality within Chinese art, or to put more plainly, the ways in which different art forms and media artefacts interrelate with one another, often resulting in unique phenomena. That workshop covered topics such as Chinese independent film, traditional painting, archival images and television. It also screened two documentaries, each differently preoccupied with issues of memory and legacy in post maoist China. Today's workshop follows a similar structure, although we've resisted the classic sequel temptation of going bigger. Instead, today's workshop brings together four papers, which will be presented in two sessions. So we have a kind of a morning session, which will start after I stop sort of yammering on about stuff. Uh, there'll be a, then there'll be a 90 minute lunch break, and then we'll have our sort of second session with two more, two more presentations. Each one of these seeks to deepen our understanding of how different Chinese art forms and media interrelate with an increasingly globalised cultural context, examining how art and media from China have become increasingly transcultural as artistic traditions are adopted, adapted and assimilated into one another. Just as globalisation and intensifying patterns of migration have blurred the boundaries between cultures and borders, so too do the distinction between the arts, as different forms intermingle to create new variations. As such, intermediality remains a vital theoretical framework and has the potential to help us understand these intercultural exchanges. It also has the potential to shine new light on the realities in which such exchanges take place. So scholars such as our very own Lucy and the Jib have made the case that uh, have made the case for using intermedi intermediality as a historiographic method, and she sort of alluded to the, the upcoming book, which which I'm glad to be to be part of, which kind of takes that kind of line of using intermediality to explore history and, and the sort of the meanings behind that. Uh, Lucia's recent book, Realist Cinema as World Cinema, uh, available via Amsterdam University Press, argues that films, but I guess you could apply this to other art forms as well, that openly absorb the conventions and qualities of other media serve as intermedial passages to historic and political realities. In other words, the way in which artists combine different media elements says something about the time and place in which the art was made. And this was an idea that something that I began to explore with my with my own doctoral thesis, which took, as Lucia mentioned, the intermediality of Japanese filmmaking during the punk era as its subject. Although each of our invited speakers will obviously have their own have their own thoughts, I do wonder as to the, uh, the I do wonder as to the applicability of this idea in the context of today's workshop, especially as media making in China continues to come under increasing scrutiny, with certain topics not permitted. To this point, I also wonder to what extent intermediality provides new avenues of expression for Chinese artists. Does intermediality offer a solution, a way to decode the tensions inherent within the exchanging of cultures? Like the first workshop, today's four presentations will be followed by screening in the afternoon, uh, that being the 2009 film Xi the Chinese by filmmaker and author Zhao Yigo, who will be joining us for an online, who will be joining us online for a post-screen discussion about the film. An adaptation of one of Gould's own novels, She a Chinese, was an international co-production between British, Chinese, French and German film companies and follows a young Chinese woman from a small village as she migrates from town to town and from lover to lover, eventually finding herself in London. The film embodies many of the ideas that plays in today's workshop, allowing us to consider issues of adaptation and translation alongside notions of the intermedial. Indeed, another question to ask is whether intermediality also represents its own form of adaptation, translation or even migration as different media elements move from one state to another. 
Screening is at 4 p.m. Uh, for those who are attending uh, our event in person. Uh, for those of you attending online, uh, you should have you should already have access to the film. You were sort of given uh, a link, so some of you may have already watched the film. But uh, there is still opportunity for you to watch during uh, the gap that will happen when we're obviously screening the film. You can watch the film uh, at your leisure. Um, and then our post-screening Q and A will is due to start at six pm. So I hope uh, I hope you can come back and join us join us for that as well. So yeah. So before I hand things over to Shin, who will be sort of chairing our first thing, I have a few thank yous as well. But it, it's kind of similar to to the thank yous that Lucia has added. But I would also like to add Lucia herself for her for her supervision and her guidance as we were putting this together. Again, uh, many thanks to the British Council for their continued support and for their for their generous funding. Uh, Department of Film, Theatre and Television for allowing us to host the workshop. Uh, Chris Bacon, uh, Amy, and all the all the technicians here for making things look and sound good. Uh, uh, by extension, Tommy Lamb, who's uh, operating the camera today, again making me look look and sound good. Hopefully, um, I know that's a, that's a tall order, but you know someone's <laughs> got to try. And then uh, so thanks as well to to Lucy Chapman, who's um, helping us, who's one of our sort of student helpers, helpers. Uh, many thanks also to Jalu Gold for letting us screen her film and also for making the film available to our online delegates as well. And also like to thank our speakers, uh, Cecilia Mello, Zhang Liu, Ashley Thorpe and Fiona Dolligan. And finally, thank you to you for attending. One final thing, this is for the in-person people, but um, in case there is any sort of uh, reason that we need to leave the building in a hurry, uh, I won't sort of, you kind of know what I mean by that. Uh, there are, so I guess there are two ways. Uh, one is the way that we came in, so just out through the doors, turn right, down the stairs, and out through the main entrance. If that is inaccessible for any reason, an alternative way is, again, through these doors, turn left, down the corridor, and then there's like a, like a back stairwell, and then if you go down the stairs, there's a fire exit down there as well. So, yeah, thank you, thank you for listening to me, and I'll, I'll now hand things over to, hand things over to Shin.